My time is now. Welcome back to Cod Zombies Gun Games, and now I'm back after some hard drive issues that prevented me regrettably from being able to play this, or rather allowed me to play this, but then screwed me over at the very end. I am back with Cold War Gun Game on everyone's favorite map, Zetsubo no Shima. And it's become my favorite map, too, over, these past, over this past week as I have been attempting to play it. As I have said before, I'm recording these very close to each other. So my hopes is that now that all my problems have therefore been Resolved. Ow, my ears. And it's still loud, but whatever. Uh, my hopes is that everything has been resolved, and hopefully, the fog of me getting a, getting the Cold War stuff out of the way a little early will be good. Because, uh, yeah, as you can see, 154 weapons isn't necessarily a good thing on a map like this where. You can very easily, you know, not die. Well, you can die very quickly, but... This is, uh... Yeah, no, this is very much troubling for me. But I, I have some amount of hope. Also, who put a, a Picatinny on a nail gun? They were just asking for trouble. My my original intention was to do the the BO1 guns on this map, as that is how I tried to record it all those times before. However, complication after complication, uh, especially with one of the things about me not even being able to beat the map, came up, and uh, well, let's just say I have resolved to. Get things out of the way. Oh, yes, I also know that the right hand is never explosive. Or never dangerously explosive. Also, they only ever come out of two windows, so theoretically, if I just stay here... I, and just keep up with the attacks... I could theoretically just stay here forever, just running through past these two windows. And then where's the fun in that? I know by me constantly hoarding up the spawns, there is going to be some power-up drops in my near future, including, potentially, some perks. Which will be very much necessary. Because I learned very recently about how uh, power-ups spawn. And it's after you reach certain point thresholds. So, when you... Every round, I believe, has a point threshold to reach regarding certain power-up drops. And I believe, if I am remembering correctly, it is always... First, you must reach 2,000 points. Then, if you make it to 2,000 points. And this is every round. So if you start round one and you don't reach 2,000... You are mo that carries over into the next round. So, if so, it goes like this: first, you get two thousand points. If you don't make it within the first round, usually within the next two rounds, you will break that threshold. Then, once that threshold of two thousand points is broken, then the score is, I believe, four thousand. 5,000, somewhere in that range. And if you don't reach that within the round, the limit resets back to 2,000. The point limit required. 
So it resets to 2,000. If you do manage within a single round to get past 2,000, and then 5,000, the next point limit, I believe, is, depending on what round you are on, between 10,000 to 25,000. Then after that, there is always one more, at least in the games from World at War to BO3. BO4 onwards have different ways on how the point system works. As a brekkie. As a brekkie. Why, why do I got a brekkie? That's interesting. Okay, but anyway. After you reach the threshold of 10 to 25,000, I believe, depending on the round, the next threshold is somewhere between 20,000 to 40,000. And then once that threshold is reached, and again, this is dependent on the round. So earlier rounds have a much lower threshold so on a lower round, you might be only expected to get... You still... 2,000, I believe, is the minimum threshold every time. For every round. But I believe for, like, say, before round 10, the second threshold is, like, 3,000 points. Whereas later rounds, it can go up to, like, 6,000. But I do know that the point threshold, starting off, is always 2,000. Which is just a little interesting info that I learned. Now, of course, that may not be exactly correct. However, I do definitely know that the first power-up threshold is always 2,000 points. And I learned this because on Origins, you can surpass... And by the way, what I mean by that is... I mean earned points, not like points that you save up. Because on Origins, at least solo, you can, if you, in a very specific order, turn on the generator, let all the zombies come out, activate the, the free double points that you get, and then systematically, you know, shoot a zombie eight times in a leg, then, uh, then knife. You can systematically get 2,000 points before killing the final zombie of the round. If you do everything correct. And because of this, you can get a power-up draw to drop on round one. Now, I never knew of this, like, system. Oh, I need to start getting out of the room. I need to get to the power. I never knew of this system. I never knew that that's how it worked. Because I... The way I saw it in my head was that I believed that the double points that you get on Origins somehow gave you an increased chance to earn drops from zombies. But of course, now I know this isn't the case. It's just I'm, I'm reaching the point threshold. So every time I grab the double points, I thought I somehow had discovered this interesting little factoid about the power-up drop from the, from the challenge chest. And so I went about doing some research, and by the way, this is when I was like, like 15 years old I discovered this, so Pre-revolution explosions were common. You know, I had nothing better to do with my time, because, you know, high school, haha. <laughs> but... I decided to put my... theory to the test, and what I found was every time... it would happen, I would always get a power-up drop from the second or third to last zombie of the first round because of the way I was doing things. And I attributed it... To simply me picking up the double points and not the fact that I was earning points. That never occurred to me. I just simply assumed, oh, I must be like, I must be like doing something to 
somehow gain more point, or I must be doing something with the double points. Something about me picking up the double points just affects the drop rates on, uh... Ow. Actually, you know what? Yeah, hit me. I'd like the other gun, please. Yeah, this is much better for dealing with this round. I love that the sounds don't work, it's just like... Oh, I'm stuck on the striker. That is... I mean, it's not the worst thing to happen, but, like, I'd love to... get new weaponry. But anyway, that's a nice long tangent about just how I believe certain things to work. Why are they shocking? Oh, right, I never turned on the power. Hold on. But yeah, no, that was just a nice little tangent that I uh, I, I like to uh, go on because I just find it interesting just how the systems in zombies work sometimes and just how it's set up so that, you know, certain things have certain effects and whatnot. And it just makes me appreciate the formula of zombies even more than I already do, you know? Because, I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is a very simple game, but, you know, at the core of it, th mechanically, there is a lot to it. I really need that double tap, so I know where to go for that. Also, I won't be building the shield because, as I have learned previously, the shield does not exactly help with anything, unfortunately. A haymaker. Curious. Why, is, why am I getting the haymaker? Okay. Well, let me go to the double tap location because I'm going to need it. Do, do, do. Anyway, how about those zombies teasers we've been getting? We got a. What is it? We got a new. Uh, uh, we got a new. Um, we got a trailer. We got the, the intro cutscene. We got a new. Perk melee macchiato. We got the um. Oh, I forget what the other thing was, but like, yeah, zombies is eating good tonight. Apparently, you know that it's so. I hate to say it's so unexpected, but like, usually zombies does sort of is like uh, has been an afterthought at, uh, recently. So just to see all this love and care being put into it. And that, you know, we're not being just, we're not just the second fiddle this time around to, honestly, the disaster that was Modern Warfare 3. It's so refreshing to see. Anyway, which way do I need to go? I need to go this way for a double tap. Now, here's a discussion I brought up. The first few times I tried re recording this map to Spider no avail. Uh, why do you think they brought back random perks? Or random perk locations, I should say. Because honestly, I, don't, I didn't think a lot of people liked the idea of the returning random perks. I always thought people hated those, especially on stuff like Shangri-La and Nuketown, you know. Usually they only put the random perks on maps that are already hard to begin with. 
You know, Shinonuma wasn't exactly a hard map, but like, you know, Your confidence is misplaced. I guess that was just their way to like spice things up. But then you get to stuff like Diarize and um, that is fact. you get stuff like Nuketown, Diarize, this, I guess Sh Shadows of Evil, technically. But like, I don't, I don't really count that as part of the, the swap, even though. It technically, yeah, it, all, it is technically, but like. Well, like, yeah, I, I just wonder why that idea keeps sticking around. I mean, it, it does help keep the game somewhat fresh, but like. I still get the feeling that nobody really cares for the idea. Weak non revolutionaries always overreact. <laughs> also, sorry. you're kind of stuck into the ground a bit, Speed Cola. It's almost like you're not really meant to be there. What do we got? Five webs with explosives, power up from a plant, eat a fruit from a plant. That's not great to learn, but whatever. I've got the only rocket launcher in the game besides the one from Cold War. Which is weird that I'm getting BO3 weapons, which is like... Isn't the list kind of already stacked even with the Cold War weapons? But I mean, I guess they needed some more for variety, I guess? Either that or it's just something about the Cold War weapons pack, which is admittedly just kind of broken. Either way, I don't mind it. It and it gives a little bit of flair since I'm not really going to be doing a BO3 gun game because, like, what's the point? And, like, you know what? Fine. Include some of their weapons. I'm not really going to be using them anyway, so, like... Well, I'm not really going to be doing that BO3 anyway, so... Get some of their representation into the thing. Ah, oh, man, this thing is just so powerful. And I love it how some of the guns just have special effects. Like, some guns just get, like, super accuracy. Some weapons have, like, explosive effects. You know, it's nice to see, like, that kind of thing happen to, like, weapons, because you don't really see that anymore. Like, sure, you got, like, whatever your Mustang and Sally equivalent is, but, like, especially in stuff like Cold War and Vanguard and whatnot, it's like, those kind of effects just aren't as prevalent, because the effects you get are coming mainly from the, uh, the weapon attachments that you put on. The last time we saw this was, like, BO4, where some of the, where some weapons could get, like, the explosive flechette rounds. Which was like, okay, that gives you a reason to have PhD so that you can use those within proximity without dealing like micro amounts of damage to yourself. But at the same time, is that really like a specialty thing? I feel like you can add that to any gun. Hold on, I need that. Thank you. HG40! I like this gun. I don't know why. It's just kind of cool. I mean, I get it's an MP40 ripoff, but like, still cool. Realize, Ouch. God, I'm already round 22. How the hell did we manage that? I've got demoted to the CUDA. That's not great. Ew, electric cherry! That makes it just a tiny bit easier. Yeah, that's one thing the BO1 maps don't have is Electric Cherry, which honestly, while I don't really ever go care to grab it unless I get it in like, you know, as a free perk, I still think it can be really helpful. Which is something I am definitely gonna miss. I mean, I don't know if Elemental Pop is gonna return. I hope that... You know, due to the fact that they're introducing, like, a, a, a new perk, 
I hope all the perks return. I hope we get all the previous 10 plus melee macchiato. So we could have 11 perks. And then I hope whatever new perks they... You know, or even whatever perk system they, like, add to it. I hope it's just as good as it was in Cold War. Because, like, the Cold War ones, were, while they were, like, fine, they had, you know, some improvements could have been made. But, you know, still, they were pretty good. So I am excited to see how they're going to be, like, returning. Another perk. I got a dead shot. I just wish I wasn't on SMG so I could actually kill thrashers, but... Especially with the constant threat of me constantly getting demoted. Because, yeah, I remember seeing on uh, Moon how... Last map, how... I originally did try to do Zetsubo and Shang. Try to get them out of the way, but, uh... That never panned out because of the technical problems on my end. And that is still true. You know, I was never able to do those. But at the same time, you know, it was it's kind of sad that I had... Because I did eventually beat a run of Zetsubo and Shang. So it's just kind of sad that that happened, you know, to where it's like I... I lost those recordings, and I had to... I'm now having to redo them. No, it is sad, unfortunately, but, you know, what can you do? Ooh, the Razorback. I do not like the fact that spiders seem drawn toward nickel -tape. I miss when they would add, like, special weapons to things. I miss... I'm, I'm sad that they didn't add more and more weapons into the game. Like, into the zombies mode. Because I feel like with... What was it? By the time we got to Revelations, all we got was, like, the Peacekeeper, the... Both the, the, the Rifty Nine and the Banshee, and then the Tommy Gun. Like, they're great guns, but, like... You put two SM... You gave us two SMGs, a pistol, and a and a shotgun to end it off? Why not go back during, like, when you were adding weapons to the, the multiplayer during, like, its second year of cycles? Why didn't you add any of those? Because I know they added the, the 1911 as the starting weapon to the... to the, um... to the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, to the, uh, the Chronicles maps, as well as adding the AK-74, but, like, you know... At the same time, they also had the China Lake, the AK, the AN-94, a couple of the special, you know, multiplayer guns that Zombies players never even got a chance to use, you know, because they were tied to loot boxes, and I remember there being, like, a very, uh, a popular mod being like, oh, here's just every single BO3 weapon, including all the loot box stuff, into Zombies. They each got Pack-a-Punch, they each, you know, had special things, so it's like... I don't know, it's just kind of sad we never got more than just, uh, the basics. And I mean, I get it, they didn't want to keep adding weapons because they already had the... the... the, the weapon crafting, the weapon smithing thing that was admittedly very basic version of what we have now and uh I had cabin it had webs they were not like it's a very basic version of what we have now but like it was still like I know they didn't want to add any more but like still they could have like oh god please just get me off the snipers Just as quickly as I possibly can. I mean, this sniper is great. I love that. I love using this thing in Cold War. 
but like, my god, snipers are just not that good in BO3 unless... Oh yeah, that's the thing. We had, like, four new snipers, none of which made it into zombies. Like, what the hell? What the heck was that about? I'm sure there's a ton of people who would have loved to use those snipers in zombies. Speaking of snipers nobody wanted to use... The, the M82! It's powerful! Even with a uh, double tap. But it ain't powerful enough to stop a thrasher. It's definitely not strong enough to... I mean, it's strong enough right now to kill zombies, which is more than what I could ask for. I just need something that kills. Because honestly, it's round 26, and the fact that there are still snipers that are killing, it's pretty good. Especially some that are this powerful, and I can just kind of spray. Nope, none of you are becoming another thrasher. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, here we go. We're just on snipers now. Speaking of snipers nobody wants, this thing. My god, what were they thinking? This thing sucked in the multiplayer, and it sucks in the zombies. Why on God's green earth did they think somebody would like this? Yeah, unfortunately, I really need that, uh, that death machine. At least now it's a shotgun. I'll grab the part for, I believe that's the KT-4? I don't know. I, I don't play Zetsubo. That's another thing I should I, I should discuss. I don't play Zetsubo, like, ever. So I don't know where anything on this map is. I don't know what, what's a good training spot. I don't know where a good hold-up spot is. I'm not going into that goddamn bunker again because that's just a death sentence regardless of what weapon I'm using. This area, the only reason I'm even training in this area is because it seems like it's a big enough, big enough an open area to, like, be usable. Oh, God, now I'm on the... Assault rifles. It means I got 40 weapons left. How many weapons are there in Cold War anyway? Isn't it? Wasn't I think I calculated it was like 56 because I mentioned at one point I wanted to do like a giant. Uh, I wanted to do like a giant like pod zombies weapons tier list, but I just never got around to it. I did all the research and looked up every single weapon that was available for. Uh, every game, and I think it came out to, like, World War II had the most guns with, like, um, with, what was it? It was, like, Cold War having, like, 56, Vanguard having, like, 54, which tied it with, I believe, Infinite Warfare? I did not put in MW Modern Warfare 3 zombies, because I don't count that as an actual zombies, because, again, there's no round base, so, like, the what what would why would it matter if weapons de dealt more or less damage the ra there's no such thing as rounds going up or be there being like a health cap i mean technically the whole game was a health cap but like you you, you know what i mean there's no point in me ranking a we whether or not a weapon is good or why am i using this sorry, pigs. this is one side of fight ugh I really need that. Excuse me, I really need that. No, I am not losing. There we go. Come on. There we go. I had to get a sniper on a spider round. Oh 
the hell did you hit me? I mean, then again, I literally turned around. So, like... I don't know. Alright, time to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Because now, yep, they're not body shotting anymore. I need headshots, which admittedly guarantees me a hundred points a kill, but then that would mean I need like minimum amounts my minimum amounts of kills I am required go up. Ooh. Oh, it's burst fire. God dang it. Oh god. Okay, good, 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 good. Then I'm gonna get rid of this. Come on, die. The last thing I need is you to become a thrasher. God, I hate these spiders so much. God damn it, I hate... I've mentioned this every time I, I attempted to play this. I mentioned something. And I'm going to mention it here. I don't hate this map. I just think it's extremely annoying. There's so much about it that is just inadvertently just annoying about it. But I feel like it overdoes things in the complexity department. It has too many, like the way the boss enemies of the spiders and the thrashers while they are fine ideas, I think just them combining is a bit much. Because on the one hand, you have an enemy that's big, bulky, very hard to kill, very dangerous in close spaces. That's fine. In a map like Zetsubo, where there are a lot of tight corners, it's good to have an enemy that keeps you on your toes. And then you have the spiders. They are fast, they don't deal a lot of damage, but they have the ability to block off pathways. Meaning, if you're not careful, they can trap you. Again, that is fine. But combining an enemy whose sole purpose is to like block off essential pathways to the player while also having a boss zombie, which by the way, can spawn infinitely if you are unlucky and are not careful with how you run around the spores you could find yourself in a situation where you are essentially trapped in a room with a crap ton of thrashers and you are unable to clear the path because a bunch of them are hauling on your ass. Now, while some people might find that a fun challenge, I do not find the challenge so-called fun. Now, I'd really like to get to that death machine, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. I fear your bite may actually be as bad as roar. God dang it. angry before because now I'm dealt with having to use a goddamn Shiva on a thrasher on round 31 it is round 31 and I am using an unpack a punch Shiva what has the world come to admittedly I do have double tap that is not a saving grace me having to use this god awful weapon. In fact, that is only. I, it's not prolonging the issue, it is speeding it up, thankfully. But at the same time, I am still using a goddamn sheep! On round 31! Unvincible no Shima! It has now become unpack a punched! 
because I have a goddamn thrasher that I can't earn points off of. Whose idea was that? Why is it that in this game you don't earn any points off the zombies until off the boss zombies until you kill them? Who came up with that design decision? Because again, I think that's just one of the minor annoyances that becomes created with this kind of thing. Where now you are forcibly relying on sh killing zombies for points, which I mean, that's the whole point of the game. You kill zombies, you get points. But now, you can't use the bosses, which are admittedly now, because of the game rules, which I have set upon myself, nigh unkillable. Except for that one, which thankfully ki got killed. But that is besides the point. I just got very lucky with that. And look at this. At least this weapon is at least more powerful than the Shiva, so I can... I don't have to complain, although I can complain again because I'm back on the goddamn Shiva! I hate this gun! I hate this gun! I hate this gun! I hate this gun! Why does this gun exist? It's a terrible weapon. The weapon itself isn't terrible, but it's an ugly gun with barely any functionality. It doesn't even deserve to be called a starting room weapon because it's in the goddamn box for some reason. Who thought that was a good idea? I'm gritting my teeth in anger because I'm reminding myself of just all the fun times I had on this map beforehand, just trying my damnedest to progress with any sense of normality. I need to kill all these goddamn snipers. Stop! I wish... Ow. Confidence is misplaced. It's a very wish, at least I just was off these battle rifles. Which I'm assuming is the weapon class that I am on, because... Is that a max ammo? I can't tell. I don't want it if it is. Yeah, it's a max ammo. I don't want it. My trigger finger is aching. Oh, that's a... It's a point drop, and I want that, but it, I get stuck. Well, at least that was enough to re-advance me. I'm now getting into a demotion cycle where I'm not going to be able to get off these weapons. Which... I'm not going to say is fine, because it's not fine that I'm getting stuck in this cycle. It really isn't. I just need to get back to the automatics. If I can just get back to the automatics, then maybe, maybe I stand a chance. But as it stands right now, oh, it's the HVK. Hello, HVK. Why am I using you? You're not a be a cold war. When's the last time I was using a cold war weapon? I've had like five PO3 weapons in a row now. Why? Uh, I mean, I don't mind it. At least. At least you're a decently powerful weapon, even though I don't really ever use you. Oh. The DMR. Did that spider just fling it? It's web at me? Here we go. Double points after... How long? Even if I die, I can now... I can now re-advance, because now I can kill quickly. At least I got through a couple of the weapons. But I'm still so far. I've got, like, what, 20... 29 weapons remaining? Just, just a lot of weapons. Ugh. 
I need more drops. Where are all the drops? I just don't get any drops for so long. And it's round 34. That's so much zombie health. Admittedly, I need to do a better job at training. But then again, I don't know this map very well, so I don't know the best ways to, like, juke and jive. I mean, I get it, it's a skill issue on my part, but, like... It's still very much this... I really do not like this map at all. Especially with just how fast the zombies spawn. You know what it is? Maybe if I just focus on the spiders, get rid of these goddamn spiders, maybe, just maybe, I'll stand a chance. If I just focus, refocus my efforts on the spy, I got fucking stuck in a corner because of the web. I am getting mad now. You can you can hear it in my voice, but I am getting audibly mad at this game, and it's stupid, annoying design. Why? Whose idea was it to make an enemy that just constantly spawns? I know I am doing gun game in which the enemies are able to spawn continuously, but why on God's green earth would you make that a design decision? And I get it. Maybe the Cold War guns wasn't a good idea, considering there is a hundred and fifty. There's a hundred and fifty-four guns you need to get through. And I get that, but like, why? 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 In just normal gameplay, because like, there's a reason I don't play Zetsubo. It's just so annoying. These goddamn spiders are so annoying. Even when I'm not being surrounded by nigh invincible thrashers. Oh, and I still got snipers to do, don't I? Mmm. That's a fun joke. I'm gonna pop your skulls off. Oh, and look at that. You blocked the way. Are you really in such rush to meet your own demise? Oh god, the spore popped. Here we go, another thrasher when all I have is a sniper rifle. That is a wonderful joke. The worst part is it's a locust, which is, like, not even that bad of a sniper rifle, but, like, come on. Because I did my research, and the zombies spawn less when there are thrashers, because a thrasher consists of multiple entities for some reason. Which also is a fun fact if you want to try to speedrun to round 250 on this game, is that um, if you don't want to hit, like, the, the soft lock time limit... Um, Uh, don't let Thrashers spawn, because Thrashers, I think they count as, like, six entities. But even so, that's terrible. Because that means that the more Thrashers spawn, the less regular zombies spawn. Which means the less points in it I can accrue, which means the longer the game is going to take, because I'm not earning points. Again, most of this is a problem of the gun game. It wasn't probably tested with... It's probably only really tested with stuff like Shadows and the Giant in mind. But at the same time... Oh, God. Well, even Shadows isn't going to be a problem, because at least the Marg was... At least there are somewhat open areas, and I can always train in the, um, uh... The Pack-a-Punch room. But, like... My God. Look at this. I got two thrashers and a few spiders just screwing about. 
And look at that, a spore popped, which means more thrashers are probably going to start spawning any second now. I hope the KT-4 is a usable wonder weapon, because the few times I checked, it was just the ray gun. Which admittedly isn't bad for popping pimples, but at the same time, it's like I wish I had something good, not an M16 that's unpack-a-punched, even though they killed that thrasher. Then again, I'm not giving that to the thrasher, I'm giving that to the... to the damage that I'm throwing into it. Also, I just realized I got Nikolai for this attempt, which... is very nice, because, uh... is what is it? I feel like I haven't gotten Nikolai in a while. So the zombie spawns on this map are so damn fast. Like, you kill a single zombie, and then the next second, they're right behind you. Oh god, another sniper. I mean, at least it's a sniper I, I aesthetically enjoy. Even if it is kind of slow. <laughs> what? Mm. I hate these goddamn spiders so much. I will be glad. I don't care if this game takes an hour of my time. As long as I never have to do it again. And I'm able to save the recording this time. Hold on, my cables are getting caught. What the hell? Why are my cables getting tangled up? Probably because my cables probably are conspiring against me. Because they know this is BS2. I, why is it that I didn't get any manglers for Gorod yet? I have to get so many goddamn thrashers. I didn't get a single mangler. Admittedly, that's mainly because I, I think you need to do the dragon command codes in order to start spawning the things. Though on this map, I think the thrashers spawn regardless of whether or not you even stay in, like, the starting room. So, like, that's a fun little... Another one? Give me a god damn break already. There, I think the spiders have stopped spawning, which means maybe, just maybe, I can try to focus on... ...killing zombies. Why is it so hard to pop the pimples? I mean, I get it. They're expecting you to use, like, the KT-4. And I get that, you know? KT-4 is a great weapon from the little I've used it. Not on this map, obviously, but in, like, custom maps and whatnot. It seems like a great weapon. But at the same time... What was that? I heard that drop sound. What drop is that? Pack of Hunch, I'll take it.
Just in case I get demoted, this weapon will leap. No, you die, you stupid spider. Uh, at least I've got this little, like, somewhat of a network going between, like, the spawn room and this, like, side area with, like, the challenge podium. No, you die. I think that's all I really just gotta do, is just kind of focus on the KN-44. I mean, it's a decent weapon, no doubt, but, like, why? Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Mm. At least I'm earning the preliminary points at least a little bit. Oh, I just can't not... I mean, the fun... The, the, not the thunder gun, the ray gun is going to be interesting one because... I'm not, I don't think I'm going to have any kind of help for that one. Oh god, I'm just I'm just running. Don't open up that way. I think that'd be a bad decision. Just use the the Toby Maguire, which this gun is called for some reason. I've seen this now a bit since I've been playing the Cold War mod a, a bit. Why why is this called the Toby Maguire? Is the M Modern Warfare 4 gun called that? Because, I mean, this is a G3, so, like... <gasps> oh, heaven! Everything is fine! Oh. Look at that point gain. That's what it's supposed to feel like. Oh. But look at that game. That is what we're that's the kind of progress we're supposed to be on. Not this slow, only maybe 10 points. Why am I on another sniper? Well, at least it's the Draken. The Drake. You know what? No. I'm not gonna talk I'm not gonna talk crap about the Draken. The Draken's pretty good. Draken is pretty dang good, especially if I can get that red dot scope. That like red dot sight. This is a pretty good gun. Very, very good gun. This is a very good gun. I'm not gonna crap on it. This is a very good gun. Got good ammo. And it seems to actually be doing damage to the, the Thrasher, so like. I will not be in dismay. I will not be in dismay about... That is an insta-kill, though, and I would very much like that. Oh no, that's a nuke. Do I want that? That's a question. Eh, maybe. I don't know. That's a death machine! I definitely want that! Why, why did it go away? Why did the death machine go away? Death machine, go away! I would s this close. Okay, I'm gonna pop you. I'm gonna go around prematurely pop some pimples. I'm gonna pop you. I think those are the only two like that are reasonably close in this area. What does it eat? Fruit, fruit, plant, plant. Mm. 
mother lover. I am going to slap something really hard. Like a water balloon. You ever slap a you ever slap a water balloon? It's very fun. It's very therapeutic. A therapist I had told me about that. Like if you ever need to like let anger out, punch punch or slap something soft. Usually that takes away a lot of stress. And I'm tend and I'll tend to believe it, you know, punching something, you know, you know, aggressively with a modicum amount of force can definitely be very therapeutic. It's definitely worked on me before to calm me down in times where I am super stressed and I do not know how the heck I am doing this, but I'm not going to question it because I am a god. Oh, Carpenter. Extra points. An insta-kill. Guaranteed kills. With weapons. Oh my god, an SMG. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm progressing weapons. Because I can kill now. Ah, uh, this is therapeutic. Just being able to kill things again. Oh, but the killing's over now. Now I just have to deal with me not being able to do enough damage to kill a single zombie, which means drops don't spawn. Oh, look, it's the Galil knockoff. Even though I think this is a real gun? I'm not quite sure. I mean, it's useful. I haven't gotten around to using it in a... Uh, Old war. Nope. You invite your own destruction. Regular sniper, regular sniper, regular sniper. Hey, have you noticed the time has been about an hour now? Yeah, I'll either look at the timestamp or look at the top of the screen. Yeah, that's right. It has taken me nearly an hour to play a normal a gun game, which normally shouldn't, but that just goes to show you how BS this map is. To where even a fun game mode can be some of the most stressful, one of the most stressful. What? Where did you come from? You cannot tell, but I just scowled, like physically scowled. Another thresher. At least this gun pack a punch can kill, so. Still not doing any damage because it's not a BO3 weapon. Hear the drop. What dropped? Whatever it is, I need it. I want it. I will show no weakness. Hallelujah. There we go. I don't care. It was worth it. For a little bit of fun. And I can just focus on exterminating. Thrashers. Now let me get back to that training route of the from going like spawn room then 
That seems like a really good spot to, like, go. It's almost round god dang 40. That is unbelievable. Oh, and there's, of course, spiderwebs blocking. Oh, finally. LMG. It's like I get one minute of happiness. I get five seconds of happiness followed by five minutes of absolute agony. God, these... Well, hey, at least once I get back the broom, I can maybe take out the, um, uh... Your confidence is misplaced. I will not retreat! I will not surrender! Do not die. Shoot at Thrashy Boy. Aim squarely at Thrashy Boy. This gun does no damage. That's fine. Just means I can go for points. Oh boy. And at... I could feel every single muscle in my body frowning. Because of that BS. Not even the fan favorite dingo can save me from this nightmare. Except when it comes to killing the spiders. I it was angry I can at least guarantee that. You your own destruction. Did you not realize you were up against unbeatable foes? RPD? How do you always get stuck, you stupid character model? How? 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 Fine. I'll make my. This game did not just say cures a gorgon. I am. I am using the Gorgon. Does no one see the problem with this? That was not wise move, okay, Packed Gorgon is another story, because this thing is actually kind of very powerful. It's just very slow, even with double tap. Which honestly is fine, you know, because, you know, sometimes you can't have two powerful weapons all the time. Okay, but here... Put your 
Filthy hands on me. Yep, about what I expected. I need to undo that barricade over here. I do not like fact that spiders seem drawn Thank God some of the zombies seem to have survived, so that now I can just use them for point fodder. And honestly, I am not killing this thrasher. It seems like a nigh impossibility at this point. I mean, I'm sure if I just had nothing but the thrasher to kill, I'm sure I could... Did it hit me? Is that what it did? It just hit me. There we go. Oh, well, the spiders are here. Pop you. Pop you. Leave this way open. No. No more spiders. Spiders are dummies. They cause too many problems. Kill all spiders. And I don't know why my friend Adam hates them so much. Because they are annoying. They are pests. They are bastards. They ruin the fun. Kill every spider you see. This is a post made by I Hate Spiders Community. And as well as bring back the damn Hellhounds community, because I just want the goddamn Hellhounds back as a normal... Oh god, that reminds me, the one teaser where it's like, what's the thing? Oh god, there's a new... there's like the Blightfather's back, but it's like a... like... mini ones? Who gave him that idea? Who said that that was gonna be a good idea? Fine, just don't kill me. This is the, literally the last weapon. I would like to go out on a decent victory. Yes! <laughs> oh, and almost an hour and ten minutes later, and I've done it. Oh, thank you for watching. Remember to have a very good day, and I'll see you for the next Zombies video. Have a good one.